This is Hachiko Waits, Chapter 7. This material is from the Fountas and Pinnell classroom and is being used with permission. The morning after Hachi disappeared, Yasuo woke up early. He washed himself quickly, put on his school uniform, and hurried into the tatami room to speak to his mother. Good morning, Oka-san, Yasuo said. Did Hachi come back? No, Mrs. Takahashi said. Oto-san looked for him before he left for work, but he did not find him. I am sorry, Yasuo. Come sit down and eat something. Yasuo sat on his cushion, picked up his chopsticks, and tried to eat some rice, but he could not. He could not even take a sip of miso soup. There was no room for food in his stomach. It was too full of sadness. We will never see the professor again, Yasuo said, his voice heavy with sorrow. And now we will never see Hachi again. Yasuo stood up from his cushion and gathered his school books, moving slow as a turtle. As soon as he and his mother left the house, he began to search for, for the professor's dog. Hachi! Hachi! Yasuo called, cupping his hands around his mouth. Then he stood very still and listened, but he did not hear the footsteps of the Akita Ken. Yasuo took two more steps, stopped, and cupped his hands again. Hachi! Yasuo did this all the way to the train station, but it was no use. Hachi was nowhere to be found. The station master greeted them eagerly at the top of the stairs. Good morning, Mrs. Takahashi. Good morning, Yasuo, he said. How is Hachi? He ran away, said Yasuo, looking down at his shoes. We do not know where he is. He is such a handsome dog. I am sure someone will take him in and care for him, said Mr. Yoshikawa, trying to make Yasuo feel better. I hope so, said Mrs. Takahashi. Yasuo had a hard time paying attention to his schoolwork that day, and he did not do well, even in math, his favorite subject. Usually, Yasuo moved the beads of his abacus swiftly along their rods and called out the answers to addition problems long before his classmates did. But today he could not concentrate. All morning long, Yasuo worried about Hachi. Was he hungry? Was he thirsty? Was he safe? He knew it was not his father's fault, but still, he wished that somehow Oto-san could have held on to Hachi's rope more tightly. But Yasuo knew Hachi would have run away eventually. The Akita would never rest until he found the professor. And as soon as Yasuo had thought, had that thought, an idea crossed his mind. Maybe, just maybe. Yasuo's mother met him when school let out and they walked to the station. When they boarded the train to Shibuya, Yasuo pulled his mother through the train until they stood Yasuo pulled his mother through the train until they stood in the first car right in front of the door why are you in such a hurry today yasuo's mother asked yasuo did not answer he wanted to keep his thoughts to himself hoping if he did so what he yearned for would be true as soon as the train pulled into shibuya station and the door slid open Yasuo leapt onto the platform, and just as he had hoped, there was the golden brown Akita Ken, sitting in his usual spot, waiting for the professor. Hachi! Yasuo cried, throwing his arms around the dog's neck. Hashi Hachi wagged his tail once and allowed Yasuo to hug him, but he did not stray from his task of looking up at each passenger who stepped off the train hoping to catch sight of his master's face. Mr. Yoshikawa hurried up to Yasuo and his mother. 
I am so glad you are here to see for yourself that Hachi is all right. He arrived a little before three o'clock, just like always. I knew he would be here, said Yasuo. He stroked Hachi's neck. He has not given up hope, said Mrs. Takahashi. She watched as the dog's dark eyes searched the face of every single person on the platform. He is very devoted. Would you like to help me take care of him? The station master asked Yasuo. He will need food and water every day. He will need his thick coat brushed to keep it shiny and clean. The station mas master looked over at Hachi and he will need someone to keep him company. I will come every day after school. Yasuo looked up at his mother. Please, Oka-san. Mrs. Takahashi knelt down beside her son. Yasuo, do you remember what Oto-san said about taking care of a dog? Yes, Oko-san. Oka-san. He said it was a big responsibility and it would be my duty for a very long time. Do you feel that you are ready to take on such a big responsibility? Yes, Oka-san. Yasuo's mother looked at her son. She looked at the station master. She looked at Hachi. Another train screeched into the station, discharged a horde of passengers, and left the platform. Mrs. Takahashi watched Hachi's head move to the left and to the right as he made sure to look at the face of every person who came his way. Yes, she said at last. It is what the professor would have wanted. I know you will be good to Hachi, and he will come back to the train station every day because he knows you will care for him. No, Okasan, said Yasuo. He will come back to the train station every day to wait for the professor.